Hi there and welcome to another edition of Rap Studios. I'm Sharon Waxman, the Editor-in-Chief of The Rap, coming to you from Santa Monica. I'm here today with George Shamshum, the Executive Director of the Asian World Film Festival, which is kicking off now, this fall, in Los Angeles. Welcome to Rap Studio, George. Thank you. It's my pleasure. It's our pleasure, too. Yeah. We're, we're excited to be hosting your films, to be part a partner with the film festival. But tell us who's participating in this festival and why does it exist? There's so much money you have to spend on promoting, marketing, and, and some of them, their movie is cheaper than the promoting and marketing. So uh, Sadiq Sharniaz, uh, um, who is the founder of the festival, uh, came to me one day and said, you know, George, what can we do uh, uh, to help those filmmakers to promote their movies? I said, how about the festival? Um, and uh, my background is or organizing festival, and as it happens, I currently uh, organize two other festivals at the same time, so that's three festivals. And, it's, and I told them, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. And there are 50 countries actually. So it's, it's actually also the Middle East, South Pacific. Absolutely, um, Central, Asia, Central Asia, some part all of the, the Caucasus. Yeah. The Caucasus, wow. And so these are places that have all of these countries that are now starting to make films that didn't really have a history of film production. Um, this is very interesting. I love that question, uh, that, that, that what you just said. Uh, uh, my passion has always been to make people discover cinema that they never heard of, mm. like Yakutia, like Buryatia, like Tuva. These Kalikia. are countries? These are countries. But yes, they are republics, but they're part of the Russian Federation. But they have their own film. Uh, um, film production. Mm -hmm. So where, what countries do they come oh, from? We have uh, Bangladesh, we have Lebanon, we have Syria, we have Jordan, uh, we have um, uh, Burma, uh, Mongolia, I mean, I can, I'm not that, I mean, what's wrong. so great, and these are screening in Los Angeles? They're going to be screened twice at the uh, downtown Arclight. Uh, cinema and the IPIC in Westwood. You know, the foreign category for the Oscars um, has just exploded in the past few years. There's just so many entries and I think it's really hard for for people involved in the awards season to see all of them for one thing mm -hmm. and two to really um, get the range of how fantastic a lot of these films are and that's the reason that we at The Wrap we started our foreign film screening series because there were so many great films and our audience that goes to those screenings clamors for it every year because it's not easy to find those movies in the general theaters when you just want to see something different. So tell us about the closing night film. Closing gala screening is the award winning The Assassin uh, directed by Xiao Xian Hu uh, from Taiwan. And what are the dates of the festival? The date of the festival, we start October 26, which is the opening, and the closing will be November 2nd. It's $7 for everybody. But for the people, you know, the guild and the filmmakers and the students, free. And it's only Free $7. screenings of films you can't see anywhere else from all over the world. Free if you're a filmmaker or a student or a member of a Hollywood guild. George Shamshum, thank you so much thank for joining you. us at the thank Rap you. Studio. Good thank luck, and let's hope you. it's a sellout.